Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 401. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and, well, happy Chinese New Year to you guys at home who are listening to this and who are celebrating Chinese New Year, yes? So, today is the first day of Chinese New Year, uh, the first new year for the lunar calendar, and this year is the year of the mouse, rat. Actually, I don't know. It's a rotten, thick one. But anywho, we we got some news this week. Not much, but it should be fun. It should be fun. Anyway, let's head into the news. In today's news, Hasbro's Amazon store goes all in on Pony Life. So if you guys got no idea what the haze Pony Life is, uh, it is the quote unquote four point five. Uh, pony season um, The character looks Very chibi Very animated Very cheerful We got no idea How they're gonna really look like We've seen previews of it But eh. And uh, Looking here they're, They have their own Amazon store Which is kind of normal But it's there The toys are there for you to buy and check it out so, join on this journey with me to see these toys. And yeah, uh, prices are all over the place. You get a $10 fetish shy with accessories. I think that's the cost of a blind bag. And you get what this um, $18.51 rarity with all the accessories. And what's the difference between this and this? There's a few accessories. I got no idea. I'm very confused. Oh, these are clickable? Really? Ah, okay. These are all toys that are related to Twilight. That's cool. And, <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like, am I biased here for liking the traditional pony toys better? I mean, this one is questionable. This one too. I, I miss the old days of the very classic um, brushables those were good I, I like those one better uh, I don't know uh, but th there's there there's here I mean, if you are interested you can go check out the Amazon store if you want to so continuing on yeah there's not much in terms of pony life toys but it's there it's there for you to check it out if you want to so yeah, uh, studying with Pony Life, yay! So let's go on to the next news. So in the next news, Rainbow Rocks will no longer be available on Netflix on February twenty eighth. So, if you have a subscription to Netflix and watch the ponies on there, that's amazing of you. That's good of you. But if you are a big fan of the Rainbow Rocks, it will no longer be on there. I got no idea for how long. So. This one, I don't know. Rainbow Rocks came out very long ago. So whoever wanted to watch it have already watched it. And it not being able, sorry, it not being available on Netflix is not a huge deal breaker for me. Because I've already bought my copy of Rainbow Rocks. So I always have it on standby on my... DVD player or Blu-ray player, whatever you want to call it. So, it's always there. But in this scenario here, I, I got no idea. Like, there's always another alternative. There's always Apple's uh, video. You can always buy slash rent the video there, I think. So, this one is not a huge deal breaker for me. And I'm sure you entrepreneur or uh, tech-savvy uh, people out there know where to get the episodes. I, I'm sure you guys know. So, uh, I, I guess this is just a PSA for you guys who, you know, watch this on the Netflix. Moving on. So, this day area takes the top slot for Miss Mojo's top 10 epic cartoon villain song. So, I dropped on this one. I have not watched the video yet. 
So I got no idea what's on the list and what's not. So I'm just going to assume that the video has... Certain you know what? I'm going to do something. Uh, I'm going to go full webcam on this. Um, play the video and mute it. No, I'm going to mute it now. Yes, I'm going to mute it now. So that I don't... <coughs> That I don't spark copyright or anything like that. Yes, and I can tell you guys what's on here and what's not. So let's see. Um, okay, uh, number ten. They have um, the Simpsons. High to be loaf. Okay. Then, huh? I'm mm, okay. Futurama number nine, Robot Hell. This this is really cool. I I really like lists like this with musicals because it gives you a I won't say mm, how would I put this an enlightenment or it gives you kind of knowledge about what songs are out there and what's amazing and what's not. Uh, number eight is. The Grim Adventure of Vidin Mandy Brains. Ah, and this is really fun. This is really really fun. And like I mentioned before, I should have gone through this uh, beforehand. But there's a lot of shows here from uh, Vidin Mandy to Batman: Brave and Bold, and so on. And moving on to the last place on the list is this the area. Hmm. I would say they made a good choice. Yes, this area is really awesome. It's powerful. It's impactful. The song is just amazing, and um, the singer who sang the song had to emote in uh, a good and evil way. I mean, it is just really awesome. I am no musician, but when this came out back in the days. This was the song that everybody enjoyed, tried to cover, remix, parody. I mean, this was just awesome. And I'm going to close this for a bit and go back to the news time camera. Alright, so, Miss Mojo, yeah, put it in the top 10 and it's the number one. So, yay, much awesomeness. Last on the list will be, well, season 10 comic, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Issue 89, reveal writer, synopsis, and artists. So, if you guys wondering at home, what? Season 10? That's impossible. It's uh, like season 8 is the last season. Why? Why? Why, why is season 10 existing? Oh no. Like, what? I don't understand. If you're doing those kind of phrases, um, season 10 is going to be in comic form. So, if you guys have not watch or read the comics well mostly read like you can't really watch a comic you can look at a comic but you can't really watch it on you know I'm putting my s I'm digging myself in a hole there, there's possible ways so anyway, um, if you didn't know season 10 is going to be in comic form it is going to be starting on issue 89 and we got the list of who is involved in the project so uh, involving in the project is writer Jeremy Jeremy Whitley, artist. Sorry, uh, that is the cover. Mm, give me a second. Take it, take it. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, yes, uh, artist is going to be Eddie Price. Uh, he is also the artist for cover variant A. Cover variant B will be Brenda Hickey, and just as Suta is going to be R.I. cover variant and any version will be R. Uh, it's there, it's there it's full info there but um, most importantly is that uh, writer and artist are going to be really awesome because Jeremy Ridley is one of the writers who does a good job like he is up there in terms of writers uh, back in the days we had Katie Cook uh, he, uh, she was always paired up with Andy Price. Uh, Andy Price's art is just totally amazing and is the best, no doubt. But 
right now there's also a few other artists who are catching up to his um, pedigree uh, personally for me because uh, I, I personally like Andy Price's art because he always do minor, minute details in the background and whatnot. like it is f- chock full of details um, Tony Kususko uh, who, also is, who is also known by Pencil is also another artist that I really enjoy but in terms of this one for season 10 having Andy Price take the helm on the start is not bad so let's see what this synopsis has to say for this comic so season 10 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic begins begins explore new worlds and go to new adventures with your favorite fillies Twilight's first act as Queen of Equestria is to send the main six or the main five in this scenario ex- to explore mysterious and potentially dangerous areas of Equestria. When Applejack, Sakura, Rockhoof, and Tempest travels to Sakura's home country, they meet a zebra named mm, what is it? Marini, Marini, and learn exciting, surprising information about Sakura, the magic. Kelpies and Abada and the uh, not so magical zebra who lived there. Ha! Ah, this is one of those scenarios where we've been asking for a very, very long time. And that is what about Sakura? Where did she came from? What about her people? What about lands? So we are getting this. And Kelpie? Really? Kelpies, yeah. I don't know what Abada is. But Kelpie, if I'm not mistaken, they're horses that go to sea and they're Scottish, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna, you know what, to be safe, I'm going to go full camp for this. And I'm going to search. Yeah, yeah, Kelpies. Uh, Kelpies or water. Kelpies is a shape-shifting water spirit inhabiting the locks and pools of Scotland. Yeah! It's safe to show you guys. Give me a second. See, yeah, this is the Walter Kelpish. I remember um, Matt Munchkin talking about this a lot. So, yeah. Huh. So, th- that is going to be a very interesting comic. So, other than that, uh, it's going to be 36 pages long and it's at $5. Um, bullet points are order any number of copies and receive your order fully returnable. What's that all about? So when do when can we expect this comic to come out? Um, judging here... Uh, SMB Street date is April 29 Cool Order date due So I think you have to put in your order before the 18th Okay So This is pretty exciting Um, Already we have a great start to the comic We have what Applejack, Rockhoof, Tempest and also Zakura These four characters These four ponies here Are not bad to have your start of the new adventure especially going to a faraway land as Zakura's uh, hometown or country that would be fun that would be fun and I'm still thinking that uh, Twilight here is going to be uh, season 9 Twilight before she grown up uh, I'm not 100% sure how the story is going to flow but my prediction is that we st- we start off the s- comic where we w- where we left off in the flashback where uh, this is after the coronation a few weeks months or years have passed by and we have an adventure hope yeah so that's the news and so I am very excited for season ten season ten is going to be awesome I can't wait this is going to be fun. So let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is, well, what have I been doing with my week? So this week has been pretty interesting. I went to watch a movie 
and said movie is Playing With Fire starring John Cena and if you guys remember me reporting on the news this is the movie where there is a pony or my little pony in the movie there's a lot of pony merchandising in there and surprisingly uh, the focus of the movie is well okay let's just say this um, the movie itself is about this fire jumper or firefighter who jumps into a fire via a helicopter and puts out fire and he rescues these three kids uh, wanting to be the responsible firefighter he takes those kids in until their parents come and take them back and uh, there is a lot of pony mention in this one you would have thought that this movie was done by Allspark Studios but no this movie was done by Nickelodeon movies so that's surprising there and honestly the pony part of the movie was not that huge or influential okay it, it was influential in a few scenes but it didn't drown the movie itself I would say that it is a fun entertaining movie and if you guys wondering why am I talking about a 2009 movie sorry 2019 movie in the year 2020 isn't that for last year's movie discussion here's the thing I just watched it this year because it came out this year for me in Malaysia so I got no idea what to say maybe I'll put it in an honorable mention when I do the movies of the year but for now that's my thoughts on the movie uh, like I said it's fun you should go check it out it's just heartwarming and silly and fun other than that oh boy uh, played a bit of video games uh, the Lunar New Year thing for Overwatch is around so yay if you're into the Overwatch let's go but other than that um, there's nothing much really uh, oh yeah I'm not 100% sure how I talked to you guys about not recording for a while because of vacations and whatnot. I don't think it's today um, it's going to happen next week um, looking at my calendar yes this will be the last episode for the week until I take a vacation so like I mentioned before um, starting from the start of February I won't be around for let's just say a week so <coughs> I'm sorry but eh, I, I deserve a break I deserve a break so episode 4-2 will be somewhere around the 11th of February so no episode for February 4th gonna take a break ah then on February 18 I can talk to you guys about the Sonic movie yay that's gonna be cool <laughs> but other than that uh, I'm just gonna relax and have myself a good time so anywho, um, with that, let's wrap up the show. Um, I'm sure I'm giving you good content. Yay. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbsugmail.com. You can also catch us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please rate us and sorry, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on polygraph.com. Links are in the show notes. Um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, um, I'm just thinking or just remembering something that someone comment on uh, a Facebook post or a group that I follow uh, mentioning that why are there so many posts about the MBS show on this page why why is it flooded and at first I was thinking what flooded really oh no did, did I derp and accidentally repost or post the thing a lot and once I checked 
be list, I did no such thing wrong. What I did was just episode comes out, I just share it with the group. It's not my fault if the group doesn't have any much activities in it that I drown the whole thing with my sh- my um, posts. So, for you who are who was asking, if you want activities or if you want if you don't want to see my activities that much drowning the page post post a lot post about stuff that you find entertaining or concerning or stuff plush toys or whatever it is share your thoughts just post a lot so that my regular thing doesn't drown you guys out because I do the post twice every once a week because there's always the normal show and the review and discussion podcast so it's not my fault and if the admins don't uh, uh, howl on me that means I'm not in the wrong I hope but anywho (laughs) if you'd like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show with every Support you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Master of Lag, Tristan, Jeffrey, Amy, and also Lucky Knight. Thank you so much, guys. You have been great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the BS Show. See ya.